excites you about telling another story that surrounds him? I mean, what excites me about Doctor Strange is what made him great in the comics, that he doesn't fight uh, villains from this Earth, or even from this universe, but from the multiverse, and from other dimensions. So you get into all kinds of psychedelic weirdness, which this movie is going to. But when I came and talked to Kevin about doing a sequel, I said, I don't want to do just another sequel to do a sequel. If I'm going to do it, it has to go into the territory that drew me into the Doctor Strange comics in the first place which is how they dipped into the gothic and the horror and the, and the horrific, and we're going to make the first scary MCU film. Yeah! yeah. You had me at goth. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what? No, it's PG-13, you're going to like it. Uh, you know what excites me about Doctor Strange? What? The fact that Benedict Cumberbatch plays him. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> So, I heard you had a little bit of a planes, trains, and automobiles situation getting here to Hall H all during your birthday. No, I just did this. Oh, that's just so important. I feel bad it's that you did that. It was that. my birthday yesterday. And they yeah. Got There's only one or two ways to go with that. There's the kind of like, oh no, you shouldn't stop. <laughs> just gotta take yeah. the love. Uh, so Doctor Strange has obviously gone through a lot, and his actions lead to the success of defeating Thanos. Yeah. And he's developed so much as a sorcerer, but also as a man. Yeah. So what's next for him? Just easy softball questions. I think, yeah, just some, you know, home economics, some cooking, <laughs> yeah. knitwear, uh, and a kind of uh, crazy line in horror. Um, Look, I, I'm, 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 I'm really excited to be at the, the dawn of this project, and I think it's vital to maintain the integrity of humor and stuff that we had in the first film, but with this twist of horror, which I think will really have people gripped. Is that twist of horror going to change any way that you approach him as a character at all, or...? Um, he'll be facing unexpected things. I think he'll be in a position rather like the audience of not knowing what's coming at him. There was a lot of authority to his character, I thought, in the Avengers iterations and even in Thor as well. So we're going back to kind of trying to destroy him a bit, I think. Fantastic. Kevin, again, being that it is Paul H., you know I'm going to ask you, do you have anything else you can share? Uh, not much, obviously, early days, but when you have a strong sorcerer, it also helps when you have a strong witch, and the Scarlet Witch is appearing in this movie alongside her. The, the, events, the events that you will see Wanda go through in the WandaVision epic series will be reflected and tied directly into Doctor Strange. In the multiverse of so, Elizabeth, thanks for joining us back on stage. That being said, is there anything that you can tell us about how your Disney Plus show will play into um, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness? I don't know if I could answer the how, but I think it's, I'm really excited to be able to link one story on one medium and bring it into the features. We haven't done that yet, and I think that's super unique to MCU. And I think that might be the future, <laughs> but I don't know anything. <laughs> I really don't know anything. It's all still secret. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for joining us.